Everyone argues. How we make our long distance marriage work. Do you need me to watch your ball? Most people see my side of it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're golfing. If you are a avid viewer of my channel, you know that I golf with my husband when he's home. Am I good at golfing? No. But do I have fun golfing? Yes. So, today I am golfer wife. Um, not to be confused with hot mess wife, which comes with a cold cup of coffee and two children hanging off of her. I'm golfer wife today who comes with a pair of golf shoes and a athletic skirt and a low carb alcoholic beverage. Let's go golfing. There you go. today because we get asked this question all the time Tim and I would talk about how we make our long distance marriage work and I hate to use that term because it makes me feel like depressed <laughs> that like we, I have a long distance marriage but to be real eight months out of the year Tim is gone and he's far away I figured today we could talk about ways that we make it work how do we make it work communication I'd say we probably text more often than we call and that's mostly just because Tim has terrible service. We talk, you know, every day, obviously, multiple times a day. And I try to tell Tim like what we are up to during the day so he feels like he knows what, what we did and, and what we're doing. And then anytime we have like any big decision, we still try to talk about that even if it doesn't affect him because he's not here. Everyone argues. If you're gonna argue, do it while you're not together. <laughs> because when you come home, you don't wanna be arguing the two weeks or however long you're home. You'd rather be spending it time, enjoying it with the family and everyone. I'd rather argue while you're gone, because then there's no, you're gone, there's no point, you're not seeing each other anyways. So if you do gotta argue, wait till you're not there. Yeah, I do find that we get through like difficult things easier when he's gone because we have to communicate it out. That's kind of like a plus, I guess. What else do you do to try to make our long distance marriage work? Let them do whatever they want. <laughs> what do you mean? buy whatever they want makes them happy as long as they're happy it makes it easier on me at work they're not dealing with problems and upset they'll be happy and they're good to go the important thing is is trying to like make your wife's life easier I guess because like I have to take care of the kids and everything and be by myself and I mean Tim's by himself but he's also working so he's pretty busy it's important to try to like make the other person happy still try to make them happy even if they're not there and you can't do little things for them there you got to make sure that they're happy check in to make sure that they're like not miserable yeah <laughs> even though sometimes it is miserable I think something that I would say specifically from like my point of view is you just kind of have to suck it up like a lot of people are like I don't know how you do that I don't know how you survive obviously it's not like ideal if Tim could find a job that was just as good living with us all the time in the same town he would and hopefully that'll be something that we can do at some point but you just kind of have to deal with it to like make your life better in the long run. You kind of just have to suck it up. Like it is what it is and you can do it. Anybody could do it. It's not like it's totally terrible. And physically and emotionally do it if you want to. It's just making sacrifices. And I mean, everybody makes different sacrifices and can decide what's best for their family. You just kind of do it. You get up every day, you create a routine, you get through it, you do it. Like it just is what it is. We also like to plan fun things for when he's home to give us something to look forward to. Like we travel a lot when he's home and we, you know, try to, I try not to have like a ton of like YouTube and work to do when he's home so it can feel a relaxing vacation time for everyone. So we're always in like a, a happy mood and everything's good when he's home is what the goal is. Giving yourself things to look forward to is also a really important thing as far as like a long distance relationship or marriage goes. Another really important thing to do when you are in a long distance marriage is to prioritize time together when you are together. Because obviously with kids and everything, like life is crazy as it is, but then when you don't get to see your spouse all the time, you know, you lose a lot in there between being a parent and working and 
trying to get through the days and then when you are together it's very important to prioritize the time that you do have so we like to try to do at least one or two date nights while or date days sometimes that's a little bit easier when you're a parent while Tim is home and we even try to travel together at least once a year by ourselves for like a week because spending time together with your spouse is very important when you are a parent in any capacity, even when you live together all the time. But when you're away from your spouse all the time, it's even more important to prioritize spending time together. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> My ball landed over here. Not close to where it needed to be. Got it. In case you need to wash your balls, there's a ball washing station. In case your balls are dirty. And now your ball is clean. One clean ball. Do you need me to wash your balls? No, I'm good. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Great job. <laughs> Alright, happy Gilmore. <laughs> so it's been a couple hours and now I look a lot better than I did before because I put some lipstick on we're trying to find a parking spot it's not going well um so we still are childrenless. Tim's parents took the kids for the whole day. I don't know if I explained that earlier, but Tim's parents took the kids for the whole day. They're here visiting. They are keeping them overnight. And so we're just a regular childless married couple today doing married couple things like going to Publix and going on a date. Earlier we went golfing and now we are going to go paint with a twist, which is like I don't know, like a thing where you paint. And so we bought some cheese and some wine and now we're gonna go paint things and see how it goes. It's actually because we got a gift card from my dad several years ago for Christmas, I think. And he always was like, oh, go and paint and whatever. And we just never got around to it. And then we found the gift cards again. Um, and since we're about to leave Florida and they don't have painting with a twist, in North Carolina, we were like, let's let's use this gift card. So today we decided to use the gift card since we're child free and we're gonna paint some pictures and I'm sure they're going to turn out great. Drink wine. <laughs> and we're gonna drink wine while we do it. So even if they don't actually turn out great, we're gonna think they turn out great. But this is what we do. We try to find days to hang out and be, you know, adult married couple. Quinton's home. no better way to wrap up this vlog than ending it on the day after Tim left to go back to work. If you're new and you are watching this and you have no idea what my husband does, I didn't mention it earlier and I just realized that. He does work in the oil field. He is gone for 28 days at a time and he's home for two weeks and it's like that year round regardless of holidays, basically just all the time. I'm looking a hot mess today because as you guys know, we are about to move and um, the house is a mess and I'm a mess and everything's a mess. I wanted to wrap up this vlog and 
and just talk to you guys a little bit about what it's like when he leaves because I feel like that's another big part of this relationship. Obviously, it's great when he's home. We get to do a lot of really awesome stuff and we're super blessed to have his job because if it wasn't for his job, I wouldn't get to stay home, work from home, and do what I love. So the times when he's home are really great and I will say that the hardest part of all of it is the week after he leaves. The kids have a hard time and it's just emotional because you know it's gonna be another four weeks before he comes home and I will say that it gets daunting like just the repetitiveness so to wrap it all up being in a long-distance marriage both has its perks and it sucks I mean it's great when he's home we get to travel we get to do great things and I'm blessed to have a husband who works hard and and this job has provided us with financial security and opportunities that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise we're both very lucky that he found this job it does suck there are parts of it that sucks but I think anything in life when you're an adult is gonna suck unless you're like a millionaire there's so many parts to life that are just like so annoying you know and you don't want to do it but it just is life and you just figure out the to how to deal with it the best you can the best ways that we deal with it are just trying to be open and communicate and I want to commend Tim because he does a good job to try to make sure that I have what I want and need and tries to make it easy on me he works hard and he also tries hard to make sure that I get to do things that I want to do and and have things that I want to have and make sure that I'm happy because he knows that it's it's difficult here it's difficult for both of us like everyone's like oh it must be so hard for you and I'm like yeah but it's hard for him too like it's it's equally hard for both of us and I think that most people see my side of it because I'm on YouTube and I talk about it a lot but it's very hard for him too I mean he misses a lot of our kids life and he misses a lot of the things that we do and that sucks for him so it's just as hard for him as it is for me it's just different and we both recognize that and I think that's the most important thing is just recognizing that like your problems aren't the biggest problem like you have to think about other people's problems so that's my little uh long distance marriage rant and video and i'm gonna end it here i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any long distance marriage questions or like questions about our relationship or whatever um i meant to do a q a with him while he was home but i didn't get around to it so leave them down below and maybe next time he comes back i can convince him to do it two weeks away today from moving and so i it's getting real it's getting real so Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you guys in our next video. And that's it for today. Bye.